Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video series of mental math, you will learn to do math in your head faster than ever you have thought possible. After practicing the method in this video for just a while, your ability to work with numbers will increase dramatically. With even more practice, you will be able to perform many calculations faster than someone using a calculator. But in this video, my goal is to teach you some easy yet impressive calculations you can learn to do immediately. Before that, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest video notifications. So let's get started. Now let us see instant multiplication. Let's begin with how to multiply in your head any two digits number by 11. It's very easy once you know the secret. Consider the problem 32 into 11. To solve this problem, simply add the digits 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5. Put the 5 between 3 and 2 and there is your answer 352. What could be easier? Now let's try 53 into 11. Since 5 plus 3 is equal to 8, your answer is simply 583. One more. Without looking at the answer or writing anything down, what is 81 into 11? Did you get 891? Congratulations. Now before you get too excited, I have shown you only half of what you need to know. Suppose the problem is 85 multiplied by 11. Although 8 plus 5 is equal to 13, the answer is not 8135. As before, the 3 goes in between the numbers but the 1 needs to be added to the 8 to get the correct answer which is 935. Here is another example. Try 57 multiplied by 11. Since 5 plus 7 is equal to 12, the 2 goes in between the numbers and the 1 will be added to 5 to get the correct answer, that is 627. Okay, now it's your turn. As fast as you can, what is 77 multiplied by 11? If you got the answer 847, then give yourself a pat on the back. You are on your way to become a mathematician. Now let's see what is 99 into 11. So we are ready for it. Since 9 plus 9 is equal to 18, the answer is 1089. Okay, take a moment to practice your new skills a few times then start showing off. Now at this point, you probably have a few questions such as, can we use this method for multiplying three digit numbers or larger by 11? And the answer is absolutely. For instance, for the problem 314 multiplied by 11, the answer still begins with 3 and ends with 4. Since 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 and 1 plus 4 is equal to 5, the answer is 3454. But we'll save larger problems like this for the later videos. Now let's see squaring. Here is another quick trick. As you probably know, the square of a number is a number multiplied by itself. For example, the square of 7 is 7 multiplied by 7, which is equal to 49. Now let's learn a simple method that will enable you to easily calculate the square of any two digits or three digits or higher numbers. That method is especially simple when the number ends in 5, so let's do that trick now. To square a number that ends in 5, you need to remember only two things. The answer begins by multiplying the first digit by the next higher digit and the answer ends in 25. For example, to square a number 35, we simply multiply the first digit that is 3 by the next higher digit that is 4. Then attach 25. Since 3 into 4 is equal to 12 and 5 into 5 is equal to 25, the answer is 1225. Therefore, the square of 35 is 1225. How about the square of 85? Since 8 into 9 is 72, we immediately get 85 into 85 is equal to 7225. We can use a similar trick when multiplying two digit number with the same first digit and the second digit number that sums to 10. The answer begins the same way that it did before the first digit multiplied by the next higher digit followed by the product of the second digit. For example, Let's try 83 multiplied by 87. 
both the numbers begins with 8 and the last digit sums to 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. Since 8 into 9 is equal to 72 and 3 into 7 is equal to 21, the answer is 7221. Similarly, 84 multiplied by 86, both numbers begins with 8 and the last digit sums to 10. Since 8 into 9 is equal to 72 and 4 into 6 is equal to 24, the answer is 7224. Now it's your turn. Try 26 into 24. Since 2 into 3 is 6 and 6 into 4 is 24, the answer is 624. Easy? Remember that to use this method, the first digit has to be the same and the last digit must sum to 10. Thus, we can use this method to instantly determine that 31 multiplied by 39 is equal to 1209, 32 by 38, 33 by 37, 34 by 36, 35 by 35. Now consider 31 by 39. 3 into 4 is equal to 12 and 1 into 9 is 09. Also consider 32 by 38. 3 into 4 is 12 and 2 into 8 is 16 and so on so forth. Now let's see are there any tricks for doing mental addition and subtraction. Consider the subtraction problem. 1241 minus 587. Most people would not like to do this problem in their head or not even on paper, but let's simplify it. Instead of subtracting 857, subtract 600. Since 1200 minus 600 is equal to 600, we have that. 1241 minus 600 is equal to 641. But we have subtracted 13 too much. Thus, our painful looking subtraction becomes easy. Addition problem. 641 plus 13 is equal to 654, which is not too hard to calculate in your head. Thus, 1241 minus 587 is equal to 654. Highlights for the upcoming videos. Using a little bit of tricks, which will be explained in the upcoming videos, you will be able to instantly compute the sum of 10 numbers below. 9, 5, 14, 19, 33, 52, 85, 137, 222, plus 359. And which will be equal to 935. I will be showing you the method how to calculate these numbers very easily without using calculator. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and share if you like the video. And do subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future.